channel, this is Dark Knight Reviews, and today we have Beast Wars in-house. And we're going with the second figure out of this uh, red line, which is the second wave as well. And it's going to be Chiro from Beast Wars. So we're going to be looking at Chiro himself. But before that, uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody that has signed up to the uh, channel or subscribed to the channel. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you for your comments too. Uh, I apologize if I don't reply right away to the, some of the comments. Sometimes it takes me a little bit longer um, just because of the type of schedule that I have. Um, I have to do many things at many hours so <laughs> but i do my best to reply to you guys so don't feel that i, I i'm ignoring you that's not the case so just you know just uh, just remember that i'll reply sooner or later i will do it <laughs> all right cool now let's go with cheetor maximize here we have the cheetor the figure of cheetor out of the package already um i already had it out of the package because i did a um review of RC. I took him out of the package at that time just to come pretty size. Now let's look at the uh, box really quick which is pretty nice the artwork I like the artwork that they're doing here and it's pretty nice on the red line you can see in here just the transformation it's not much to it uh, it's not a lot of artwork on it but still the front it looks really nice really nice detail on it I really love that now something that I noticed that uh, you probably notice it too, but the face doesn't really look like Chiro. It looks more like Dinobot from uh, Kingdom. And for that, I'm going to show you, like, if I'm crazy or not, just let me know. But look at... Let me see if I adjust the camera for that. Because <laughs> the box is a little bit bigger. So here is Dinobot right there for Kingdom. And here is Chiro. And they just look the same. It doesn't look like the face of Chiro. Because of that grim look that he had in there, and the teeth doesn't really look like Cheeto has fangs on it. Let's say, for example, this one over here, you can see in there. That's more, that's more likely his face compared to uh, the one that the red line has. Uh, if you can see the difference in there, and also the eyes. I mean, the eyes are yellow compared to the red eyes. But I think, eh, I don't remember if they were red. Actually, the figure has yellow eyes, so yeah. I don't know why they put that in there. Maybe, maybe it will be the next uh, figure that they're gonna come out on the red line. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe they just mistakenly put that in there, but it was supposed to be for Dinobot. Who knows, sometimes they do that on purpose just to see a little clues what's gonna be next. Um, I've seen that happen before, so hey, you never know. So I don't know what's gonna be on, this, on the third wave, if, it's, they're gonna, if they're gonna make any third wave or not. So far, I think they've been doing good with this uh, line. Uh, I think the first wave is, it was okay. It wasn't great, but I think on the second wave, uh, which is only two figures, but they did improve a lot on the figure themselves. Now, what it comes with it, we can see over here, all the different uh, accessories that it comes with it. Now, I'm gonna take those uh, in a bit, but you guys can see in there. So, really nice, really nice for the box. You know, it's cool, always to review the box. Now, let's look at the figure itself. And here we have Cheeto, really nice looking Cheeto. I really like it. Now, um, this one, for whatever reason, they decided to do the same type of gimmick that they did with RC, that you can remove the chest plate. Uh, you can see the interior in there. I don't know for what, what was the purpose behind? Not sure. Since it's not a transformer figure anyway, so. I don't know what was the point for that, but anyway, let's look at the face. Really cool face looking, really nice looking face. I like the uh, chrome looking on it, really nice. Now, I wish they would have the same type of paint over here applied to that. Now, um, I don't know if you can see it, but if you ever get the chance to see this one, you can kind of see the fangs in it of Cheetor has in there, you know, like a cat. And see the eyes are actually orange or yellow. Not actually red, so that's kind of nice. And this over here, this bronze color on it, it really looks nice. And I like the head sculpt, which is uh, more close to um, what it was in the cartoons compared to what they came out on the uh, Kingdom line in the Netflix. So that's kind of nice. Now articulation is very articulate, this figure that you can see in there. As far as the knees goes, I like that, that they need the knee pad on it too. That's kind of nice. And this area over here, something that the uh, Kingdom line is lacking. So we'll do a compare for those in a minute. But yeah, 
very flexible. Um, the feet are nice too, big. They're not really small, so that's nice because it makes it stand up really quick. You can put it in poses really quick and it doesn't fall down. Now the head, it can be movable, but because of this over here, you can't really do a 360 on it. I mean, you could kind of push it through, but eh, you don't want to do that. Now, arms are very movable, very nice. You can move the arms, forearm, the elbow, shoulder. Yeah, they're a little stiff, but that's usually how it is on this uh, type of figures. Now the back over here, I didn't know it was removable, but it is removable. So you can actually remove it too. Now, you just gotta put a little um, a little more uh, force on it to pull it out, but yeah, it is removable. So that's kind of nice. So if you don't like this part over here, you can just remove it. And it still looks good on it. Let's put it back. There you go. Just like that. <laughs> and uh, as far as this part over here, it's not movable. You can see the legs are just attached to each other uh, compared to the Kingdom line which they are removed, but that's part of the transformation. Now, remember this figure doesn't transform, so it doesn't have to have all the different gimmicks that the uh, uh, regular transformable figure has. Now, something that this figure comes with it that didn't come on the Kingdom line of the Netflix is actually the gun. Now, let's look at the gun really quick. Pretty nice looking gun. I like the colors on it and <laughs> I wish they would have put it on the Kingdom line. That would be really nice, but it's okay. Um, I mean, you might get this figure, put the gun in it, and just uh, keep it. There you go, stay there. And you can share it with your, uh, you can share it with your uh, Kingdom line. Now, for comparison and size, the red line is much bigger compared to the. Uh, Netflix one. So this one's a Netflix as, as you can see the colors. So there's little things here and there that I wish I would have done with this one Let's say for example like this color over here I wish it would be more uh, Toward that kind of blue chrome looking just like the one it has in the face. So they could do that on the shoulder area Something over here that they did that too. So they did this over here They put a little more chrome on it. So they could have done that in here, too I don't know why they didn't do it. But anyway, let's move on <laughs> with this so here it goes, uh, both figures in there, both cheaters. So right there, you can see the difference in there. Now with the, probably the weaker out of the three cheaters that we have so far, which is the regular Kingdom line, which is this one over here, which is the colors you can see. Uh, adjust the camera, you can see three of them in there. Yeah, and you can see basically the colors on it. I mean, definitely the head sculpt, this is much better. Uh, compared to this two over here. Obviously the transformation is a big thing uh, for Cheetor. So unfortunately this one doesn't transform, but that's that's the whole point of this line over here that doesn't transform. So it does have more accuracy of a uh, figure on the robot mode compared to this one's over here. Now, like I was saying, you can actually swap the gun, which is kind of cool. And you can just put over here on this one. Let's, let's use the Netflix one. So there you go. So now you have a cheater that can transform and he has a gun. <laughs> I don't know for the storage since this one didn't come with it, so they didn't come anything prepared to have a storage for the gun. So that's that's another thing you can do on that. Cool. Now, um, I was saying on the feet, you can compare the feet in here. It's much bigger feet, so that makes it a stand up to stand better. So you can be really possible. Put on different positions and you won't fall compared to this one that yeah, you can kind of do it, but it tends to just tip compared to this one. Yeah, you did that one too. <laughs> All right, well, you know, you got the idea. That's what matters. <laughs> All right, let's just put those figures inside. And then uh, let's look at all the different accessories that this uh, figure comes with it. Now, let me adjust the camera to the middle. Now let's bring the different accessories that we have for Cheetor. And we have one Energon stone in there, raw Energon. We have a couple of blasters effects, which Energon. And we have claws, which are really nice claws looking. 
Let's see if the camera can adjust in there. Let's look at the camera. It doesn't want to work with me today. But you can see in there. Really nice looking cloth. As it should be. Right? Cool. And he has a couple fists. Uh, this is actually for the gun. But already has one in there and then a close for you. I think I swap them. I probably did swap them if I remember. Maybe, yeah. I probably did that. So this one is a close fist. And then this one is for the gun. For the, uh, it will be the left hand side. Yeah. And this will be the right. Yeah. Cool. And the effects over here. And as you know, this one's over here. You just remove it. So let me, let me actually put the claw one of the, uh, yeah, right there. So very simple. You just detach it. And put it back together. Very nice. Did I put it correctly? There you go. That makes more sense right there. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Easy little kitty. Easy boy. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Easy. All right. Energon. Raw Energon. Crystals. Very nice looking. I like this color over here with the Energon. I like it. Really nice. The effects too, pretty cool. Um, they're supposed to go on the gun, yeah. Yeah, there you go. I don't know about the effect. It looks more like a volcanic thing compared to that, but I guess, yeah. Since it's a raw energon, probably it's not as uh, clear as it should be, or as, as the other effects that we got in uh, other versions of it. So, there you go. Kind of cool. Kind of cool looking in it. Now let's see. Now let's compare two other figures from the same line. We're going to put this on the side. Let's move it on the side. And then we have over here, of course, his windmate. Um, I'm sorry, his uh, wave mate, which is RC from Power of the Primes. Right there. Looking at the same height almost. There we have Optimus Prime right here. And adjust the camera in there. There's Optimus Prime. And we have Sandwave right there. And then we have Megatron right there. There you go. Really nice figures, they're all really nice. Um, the first wave was okay, I would say. The second wave, I think, has the advantage. Um, I think the advantage of the uh, figures themselves and the characters themselves not being a square box compared to the Autobots and Decepticons, uh, but more, um, yeah, more slick design. That I think that's the advantage of these figures uh, compared to the first wave, in my opinion. Now, articulation with this one, as I was saying, yeah, you can move the, the waist. I mean, you can do a lot of stuff with this one. You can move the uh, little torso, torso area. Yeah, it's movable, so that's nice too. So yeah, pretty cool. Okay, everybody, with this, we finish off our review of Cheetor from Beast Wars on the RED line, robotting his design. Now, if you like this figure as it is, just for a standalone display, it's a pretty good figure. Uh, you don't have to hold, um, have the whole uh, first wave and second wave. They're totally apart from each other. I mean, if you want to have a G1 uh, characters, there you go, the first wave. If you want to have a little more change of characters, like RC from Power of the Primes and then Cheeto from Beast Wars, that's wave two, basically. So yeah, they're definitely nice figures to have. Now, this, Two figures alone, RC and Cheater are much better in articulation compared to the first wave. Maybe, like I said before, I think they have the advantage of their body being more slick design compared to the square box bodies that the Autobots and Decepticon have, or at least the ones that they choose to have for this line um, as the first wave. Uh, so yeah, definitely they're much better articulated paint color wise and uh, plastic. Yeah, is it has a better treatment on the paint. 
compared to Optimus Prime that has some issues with the plastic and the paint. Um, it was noticeable. I haven't done a review on this channel yet on that. Um, I did a review on Spanish on my other channel, but definitely I'm going to be doing a review for that one. Um, but first I wanted to cut up what, what we have right now, which is basically the second wave. And then now we can definitely move to Kingdom. And then after that, we're going to see what we have. I mean, we had so much news going on with Transformers. Now I'm going off a little bit of the review, but uh, I think they have uh, Lord Sordak. I think that's the name. Uh, just came out on Hasbro Pulse. You can order it. It's basically just a repaint of Scorponox. Um, we also have, you know, the Netflix uh coming in also which is the seekers that we're waiting for and or the seeker that we're waiting for the sparkless seeker and also we're waiting for megatron and it's so much stuff going on so much stuff coming out all the time from transformers that you never get bored and you just have to cut up with all the stuff i mean if you're a collectionist and you're a completeness like myself uh that tried to complete the whole set um <laughs> yeah it's it's it keeps you entertained and it keeps you busy all the time, which is nice, which is good. I really love it. And I hope you guys, I'm pretty sure you guys um, are here watching this video because you're also Transformers fans and you also collect them. Um, or even if you don't collect them, but you just like to see the figures and you like the Transformers line overall is, is nice, really nice. So I'm really, really thankful to be doing this and I'm really thankful for all the people that support me. Um, even though this is a brand new channel, um, I get comments, I get likes. And I started seeing people um, subscribing to the channel, which is really nice. So I really appreciate that. Now, um, yeah, now, so <laughs> final thought on this figure. Definitely, you need to get it, okay? Um, if you like Cheetor as a, yeah, as a character itself, it's pretty nice. Really nice figure. It has a lot of nice details on it, a lot of uh, cool stuff on it, a lot of... A articulations that you can move it in so you can pl definitely play a lot with it and you can have cheater as it is a standalone figure and you can have the kingdom or the netflix cheater as just the um uh, the robot i'm mean, sorry the animal mode the cheetah itself so that's the one way that you can work on that on that all right cool now um just remember like the like the video if you think that this video is cool you think it entertain you so just give a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, just go ahead and subscribe. Hit that button for subscribe. And we'll see you on the next review.